Hello YouTubers, thank you for clicking on my channel, Taff Wildman of the Woods. Um, I hope everybody's keeping safe uh, and well during this lockdown. Uh, here in Wales uh, we've still got a five mile travel restriction so I am limited where I can go at the minute. But I've come out with some uh, local woodland, it's uh, a juvenile wood so there aren't too many big trees but uh, I was going to do it in the back garden yesterday but the natives were restless so uh, I've come out today for a walk and um, I've set up my Highlander Blackthorn One um, camouflaged uh, uh, one-man tent which uh, I'll go into in a minute. Uh, so they, um, they retail for about somewhere between 42 and 45 pounds. Um, they come in various colours, I think there's like a dark green one, an uh, orangey red one and, an, and another colour. But um, I have got the um, Highlander camouflage one. Um, let's have a look. Let's give you some technical information. So it's it's um, the fly sheet is a 190T, which is PU coated polyester. Now when I looked this up yesterday on um, YouTube. It said it, it uh, gives a hydrostatic rating of 3,000 millimetres. But um, according to the information provided with the sale of the tent, it says it's uh, 2,000. So, you know, you decide for yourselves. The ground sheet is um, polyurethane. Um, so you certainly need uh, like a footprint underneath. It's not the best, but there again it's not the cheapest uh, it's not the most expensive tent in the world um, I'm five foot eight um, and I, w I would recommend that anybody over five foot eight not buy this because uh, it's it's sort of not the longest uh, internal um, diameter uh, specifications in the world um, there, there is there, well there is supposedly an extra large one I I've been struggling. I was struggling to get one in the um, in the camouflage colours, but um, you may be able to get them in the other colours. But I think there's only about um, three inches difference. Uh, you know, I certainly wouldn't use it in sort of heavy rain, unless I uh, unless I had um, like um, you know army or tarp or something like that, army basher. Um, you know some sort of tarp over the top because I think you know it would be susceptible to heavy rain unless you are perhaps in a, a, a dense um, woodland with plenty of shelter uh, also it comes with sort of very thin alloy pegs um, now when I was when I put it up originally in the garden I was knocking it in I hit the stone and it started to bend so what I've done, I've replaced these now with my much sort of thicker, I think they're aluminium, um, tent pegs from um, my Van Gogh, which I'm sort of uh, putting to storage at the moment. So they're uh, half inch longer, but they're, they're, you know, they're a damn side thicker. Um, there's four guy lines on this um, Blackthorn. Uh, they're for the two vents, one at the top, one at the bottom. They come with sort of flimsy black nylon cord um, with like an, an, an adjuster. So what I've done, I've replaced, I've replaced the adjusters with some cam cleats, which I'll show you in a, in a minute. Um, and also some three millimeter paracord, just just, you know just to give it perhaps a little bit more um, strength I've also give it a coating as well in Fabsil gold um, just to try and increase the water repellency um, I don't know if it's going to do any good but you know it's, it's recommended um, so um, I've, I've just put it up I must have picked the worst spot in this wood with the most stones so um, I'm just going to take you over to there now and we'll just have a, a quick look over the tent um, this this for me is the neatest thing I'm gonna get to hope baby bag because it's side entry 
you don't have to crawl in or out of it on your belly you know and I get up twice a night for a was um, so it wouldn't be great if it was raining um, and you'd then you'd have to have a tarp anyway but then you pay in you know 80 or 100 quid or 150 quid for, for the bivy bag which you use in the tarp over the top so this was the next best option and cheapest option for me so um, yeah that's about it really I'll stay with me I'll see you in a minute right I'm back you still there good okay so here it is um, set up in this wood it blends in quite well um, you know there are trees uh, leaves on the trees at the minute um, so you've got um, at the top you've got a vent here now there's two lots of there's two lots of paracord coming off it I need to move it around a little bit more right. so you've got you've got two lots of paracord coming off it this could be tried to um, a tree or something like that and you got the same at the bottom so you've got another vent here and the uh, you've got uh, elasticated uh, sort of bungee guy lines on it all the way around except for the inner which is like um, canvasy straps uh, so not Side entry. This is this isn't the most professional video in the world, but it's a bit of fun and um, just to give you guys some information out there. Uh, right. So you've got uh, internal netted area, um, which is not as tightly woven as some tents on the market. So you've got your side, your side entry. Um, and then your uh, polyurethane ground sheet. Um, not the most expensive tent in the world, but um, I'm planning on using this for a bit of stealth camping. Um, you know, like I said, it depends. It depends how much money you, you want to spend. Um, you know, I'll probably put this tent now facing the other way, in between two. Um, I think they. I'm not sure what trees they are. But there's two, two quite big trees here. Um, I think they may be birch, uh, silver birch. Um, and then I can put my tarp up here in heavy rain. I'd use it in drizzle or um, showers or something like that. But, um, you know, for 40, you know, for, I think it was 42 quid it cost me. Um, and a lick of uh, Fabsil gold just to give it a bit of, give me a bit of peace of mind. Um, you know, and it blends in quite well. I've been back quite a distance and I'll, uh, I'll show you in a minute and um, see what you think. Stay with me. Right, I'm back. I'm about 30 meters, maybe 35 meters away, and just over my right shoulder, around about by there, that's where the tent is. And uh, you know, in a, in a sort of uh, juvenile wood like this, or maybe even be even a conifer forest, it wouldn't be too bad. So that concludes today's uh, video. Um, you all stay safe out there, and um, tune in next time for another video. Thank you ever so much. Take care now. Bye.